Hello students, welcome back to maths class. So, today we will discuss uh, one topic that is finding derivative by first principle. This is 4 marks topic, right. So, they will ask find the derivative by using first principle. Generally, find the derivative if f of x is equal to something, right, they will give and find f dash x or find y dash or find dy by dx, like that they will ask, right. So, here find the derivative by first principle, not by regular formulas, right. Generally, we will find f dash x dy by dx, right, and y dash by using our regular formulas. But here, by using first principle, we have to find the derivatives. So, what is meant by first principle? If we find f dash x by using this formula, right, limit h tends to 0, f of x plus h minus f of x by h, then it is called first principle, right. So, solving or finding the derivative by first principle means by applying this formula we have to find. But at the end the derivative by using our normal formula by using first principle both will be same. We are finding the derivative. So, derivative by formula or derivative by first principle value will be same. But in 4 mass question they will mention particularly find the derivative by first principle then we have to apply this formula. Otherwise, normal formulas are there. What is the d by dx of x cube? See here, find the derivative of x cube. How we will find d by dx of x cube? Right, x to the power of n formula and we will find out. Right. So, but if it is given by first principle question, it will be mentioned by first principle by first principle, then we have to apply this formula, not our regular formulas, not our regular pro formulas means in previous problems, in previous classes we solved by using d by dx of x to the power of n, d by dx of e to the power of x, d by dx of a to the power of x, those are our regular formulas. This is our first principle, ok. So, come on, we will solve first one. What is the first question? Find the derivative of x cube by first principle. So, given value is f of x is equal to x cube. We have to find f dash x for this x cube by using this formula. To solve this formula, we need f of x plus h. f of x is given to you. We want f of x plus h. What is the meaning of f of x plus h? So, in x place we have to take x plus h, right, that is the meaning. See, f of 2 means we will take 2 cube, f of 3 means we will take 3 cube, that means in x place, right, we will change the value. So, here also f of x plus h means in a x place we will take x plus h whole cube. Your function f of x is defined as x cube, your function f of x plus h is defined as x plus h whole cube, ok. So, now take your first principle formula, what is that? f dash x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of, first write down the formula, then you substitute f of x plus h, f of x by h, f of x plus h minus f of x by h is equal to, now you substitute your quotient values, right. What is the given question? f of x plus h is nothing but x plus h whole cube. So, x plus h whole cube. What is f of x? It is x cube by h, ok. So, is equal to limit h tends to 0. a plus b whole cube form, what is that? a cube plus b cube, where in a place x is there, where in b place h is there. So, a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b, 3x square h, 3ab square that is 3x h square minus x cube as it is. Till now, this is x plus h whole cube, a plus b whole cube, a cube plus b cube 
plus 3a square b plus 3ab square where a place x is there where b place h is there ok we applied a plus b whole q formula divided by h so plus x cube minus x cube will get cancel and observe all terms are having h in common so we can take h as a common term so limit h tends to 0 take h outside then what happens it will be h square plus then 3 x square h is taken common and the next one is 3 x h 1 h is taken common divided by h this h this h will get cancels now no further simplification is possible in finding the limits if no further simplification is possible then we have to apply the limit values in the problem right while solving the limits problems you will know it what is this we will simplify first right so next we cannot simplify further then we will substitute that limit value in that problem so we cannot simplify further isn't it till now we can simplify so it is a cube and some positive negative terms get cancelled then we have taken common term that also get cancelled so now this is the thing we cannot simplify further now we apply the limit values so come on what is that h tends to 0 so 0 square plus 3 x square plus 3 x into 0 substitute the limit value means wherever h is there there you have to take 0 it is given in the question limit h tends to 0 means h value is equals to 0 so is equal to 3x square that is all that is the answer for 4 marks. So, only thing is whenever it is first principle you should know this formula we have to find the derivative of the given function by using the first principle formula. What is the first principle formula means this is your first principle formula not by our regular formulas f dash x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h that is the formula for the derivative by first principle. So, they will give in the question f of x will be given to you you find out f of x plus h find out means just in x place we have to substitute x plus h in the given problem wherever x is there in its place you have to take x plus h then you will get your f of x plus h. Once we got these two take the formula and simplify at the end you substitute your limit value you will get your derivative. See you can check by normal method also what is that d by dx of x cube we are finding is not it this is by first principle normal method means d by dx of x cube d by dx of x to the power of n form. So, what is that n into x to the power of n minus 1 that is 3 into x square c both are same. So, we are finding derivative by different method one method is by our regular formulas and another method is by our first principle normal formula is 2 mass question by first principle 4 mass question definitely you will have one question by first principle in your final examination I said no from differentiation you are going to get two very short answer one short answer short answer means 4 mass question mostly from this first principle ok now come to the second question. So, very simple you should know the formula how to find the derivative from first principle this is the formula we have to apply same formula whenever question is given on first principle ok. Now, come to the second question find the derivative of root of x plus 1 by first principle. So, come on what is your f of x f of x is equal to root of x plus 1 we have to find f dash x f dash x means this is the formula what are the requirements f of x plus x and f of x we have, we got f of x so try to write f of x plus h so come on is equal to f of x plus h is equal to wherever x is there in the given 
function there you have to take x plus h so x plus h plus 1 so now find out your f dash x now so f dash x by first principle right so a is limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h so is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h is root of x plus h plus 1 minus f of x is root of x plus 1 okay by h in limits whenever problem is having like this square root in between minus is there we will do rationalization what is the meaning of rationalization multiplying and dividing with which value x plus h plus 1 plus root of x plus 1 similarly come on root of x plus h plus 1 plus root of x plus 1 for whole this we are having limit h tends to 0. Now observe whenever we are having square roots and in the middle minus is there we have to rationalize then we have to simplify in our limit problems limit problems are there right in those this is one of the condition now see here it is a minus b into a plus b a plus b into a minus b or a minus b into a plus b both are same so its formula is a square minus b square so we will have limit h tends to 0 you consider this as a this as b a minus b into a plus b a square minus b square so where a plays we are having x plus h plus 1 whole square minus b square we are having x plus 1 whole square by h into those values as it is we have to write root of x plus h plus 1 plus root of x plus 1 okay square square root square square root will get cancel so simplify is equal to limit h tends to 0 come on x plus h plus 1 minus x minus 1 by h into root of x plus h plus 1 plus root of x plus 1 okay so here we are having plus x minus x cancel 1 minus 1 cancel even h downwards h also will get cancel isn't it upwards and downwards so what is the leftover value now limit h tends to 0 1 by root of x plus h plus 1 plus root of x plus 1 no further simplification is possible so we have to substitute the limit value so in all problems first we have to simplify right till we cannot simplify further then you apply limit in that problem you will get your answer so come on apply apply the limit means what is the limit value given to you h tends to 0 that means h value is 0 so wherever h is there there you have to take 0 so come on it is root of x plus 1 plus root of x plus 1 okay so is equal to 1 by 2 times of isn't it root x plus root x is 2 root x right x plus x 2x same thing here it is 2 into root of x plus 1 is the answer of your question okay so this is called the first principle okay so very simple in this class i am doing only two so that you will get used to first principle problems in next class we will do some more little bit complex problems so first thing is first you observe in the question whether it is mentioned by first principle or not 
only find the derivative means normal derivative we will find by using our normal formulas. But if it is mentioned like this first principle mostly in 4 marks question you are going to get this type of question ok. Find the derivative of they will give one value by first principle. So, whenever it is first principle we have to find the derivative by using this formula. Come on what is the formula? f dash x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by h ok. So, they will give one function or one value in the question. We have to consider that as f of x whatever be the question asked that should be considered as f of x ok. So, next with that we can easily write our f of x plus h what is the meaning in the given question wherever x is there in that you substitute x plus h then you will get your f of x plus h ok. Once we got f of x plus h you take the formula what is the formula f dash x is equal to limit h tends to 0 this one substitute and simplify right till we cannot simplify further then at that situation at that point we have to substitute the limit value in the problem right in the solution. So, wherever h is there so limit h tends to 0 in all these problems h limit h value is tends to 0 means equals to 0. So, in the problem wherever h is there there you substitute 0 at the end you will get your answer. You can check by your regular derivatives also your answer. So, here I checked no. So, x cube d by dx of x cube is normal method is it is 3 x square. Similarly, second question is f of x is equal to root of x plus 1. So, we have to again by first principle. So, first principle means this formula we have to apply. This formula means we need this value. So, we need that value means wherever in the given function this is the given question wherever x is there in that x place you take x plus h we will get you a f of x plus h whatever the question given that should be considered as f of x in that wherever x is there you substitute x plus h you will get you a f of x plus h those two must be clear right once we got those two take the formula first principle formula is this one for all first principle problems we have to apply this formula first principle again same thing where you, if you go for second year if you go for degree if you go for MSV first principle means this formula only ok. So, first principle apply the formula and try to simplify it right. So, we simplify it. after this we cannot simplify further in such case in such situation we have to substitute the limit value. So, in all these first principle problem limit is 0 h tends to 0 limit value. So, wherever h is there you substitute 0 right. So, you will get your actually here I substituted right x plus 0 plus 1 is x plus 1 directly I have taken the value. So, it is is equal to 1 by 2 root of x plus 1 ok. So, this is about your first principle ok. So, now practice these two problems in next class we will do some more first principle problems compulsory maximum 99.9 percent they are going to give first principle problem for 4 marks from differentiation ok. So, practice the problems that is all for today have a nice day.